Remember Adnan Syed, the subject of the hit podcast Serial? Syed charged for the 1999 killing of his ex-girlfriend, Hey Min Lee. But then last year, he became a free man, controversially, after all charges against him were dropped. Well, it turns out his legal troubles are not necessarily behind him. A Maryland appeals court heard a request yesterday to put him back behind bars and potentially reinstate his murder conviction. The attorney for the family of Heyman Lee said today in court, yesterday, that they were not properly notified about the hearing last September that led to Sayed's release. The victim's brother, Young Lee, has been acting as the family's representative. He claims he wasn't given enough notice and therefore couldn't make it from California and Maryland to, from, uh, from California to Maryland to attend. The attorney for Lee's family telling the appellate court they are seeking full reinstatement of Syed's murder conviction. Syed's attorney argued that Lee's family had no right under the law to play an active role in the hearing. Speaking out for the first time since he was released last September, here's what Syed had to say outside the courthouse after the hearing. You know, our family, we've suffered so much, you know, just over the past 20, almost 24 years. And it's just, it's really hard for us. It's hard for my dad. It's hard for my mom. It's hard for my younger brother, you know, and it's just, it seems like our family, we just always go unnoticed. Every time we go to court, we just always go unnoticed. And, you know, we definitely understand that Hayes family has suffered so much and they continue to suffer. And I it just, it's just that we suffer too. And we just hope that the court today just takes notice of that. Well, whatever happens, they haven't gone unnoticed. I mean, the reason Serial was such a massive hit was because of his account. And the reason he's been released is because his case did become so widely noticed. Now, look, I've long had concerns about Syed's conviction. I also have expressed concerns about the motivation of former Baltimore state's attorney, Marilyn Mosby, who led the effort to vacate his conviction and who is under indictment herself. Now remember, this is 18-year-old Heyman Lee, declared missing in 99. Four weeks later, body found in a Baltimore park. Suspicions arise around Adnan Syed. The theory was he's so enraged by the breakup, he kills her, then admitted it to a friend who says Syed, Syed showed him the body, and eventually that friend led police to the victim's missing car. Syed's first trial in December 99 declared a mistrial. Second trial took place in 2000, which found him guilty of murder, sentenced to life in prison plus 30 years. The podcast, Serial, released in 2014, dug deep on every twist and turn in the case. In 2016, a lower court ordered a retrial on grounds that his original attorney, who died in 2004, was ineffective and didn't even contact an alibi witness. But after a series of appeals, which went both ways, Maryland's highest court in 2019 ultimately denied him a new trial. Now, those renewed appeals occurred after the world became focused on the case with all the armchair detectives, additional resources from supporters around the world. And after a case works its way through the courts, the highest court in the state, it is very, very hard to get a new trial at that point. But last September, Mosby's office filed a motion asking the court to overturn the conviction and dismiss the case, saying a lengthy investigation that they conducted with the defense uncovered new evidence that could undermine Syed's conviction. That evidence, we later learned, was apparently a mixture of DNA found on both Lee's shoes from multiple contributors, according to Mosby, but none from Syed. It's not necessarily dispositive, but days later, a circuit court judge overturned the conviction just as the prosecutor asked. Joining me now is Kurt Nachman, a former Baltimore City prosecutor under Casey Murphy. He was the prosecutor of Adnan Syed in the original conviction. He's now a criminal defense attorney in Baltimore. Obviously, he's been following the case uh, closely. Thanks very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. So what do you make of this latest effort to potentially get Syed's conviction reinstated? Well, I think they're going to have a very difficult time getting the conviction reinstated. Um, you know, whether or not the procedures at the vacator hearing were properly followed is a totally separate issue. It seemed very much to be a political stunt that was conducted at the time by the then sitting state's attorney um, in order to gain favor for some future career of her own design. 
Um, but you know, unfortunately I, the idea that after he's had his charges dismissed, after there's been all this information floated out there regarding, you know, another potential suspect, it, it's going to make any prosecutor, um, think long and hard about retrying this case. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.